Welcome back to the show, y'all. In this video, I was asked by one of my subscribers to try this out on white paints. So here today, we're going to be trying this out on my white Ford Explorer. And I, I never tried it out on a light white color paint like this. Uh, I will try it out on like, um, I would say light gold as well. Some of y'all got light gold color cars. I tried it on there. Even we might try this on a silver paint. Alright, and they was curious how the shine and gloss does on white if they use this product. Now, me personally, um, the only thing about this product that I don't like is basically the smell of it. Uh, other than that, it seems to be pretty decent, you know. So that's the only um uh, downside that I see with it. Now it says here enhanced gloss and depth. Reduces water spotting and screen hydrophobic protection. So that's what it says. Alright. Beyond ceramic. And it, it just says you're supposed to put it on with an applicator. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay. What I did here. I sprayed a little in the applicator. So I'm going to just smear it up here. Just like it's called for here. Here are some up here. Okay, it says smear it. I mean, just spread it on the applicator and smear it on like this. Spread it up there. Okay. I want to try this stuff on trim. How good would it do since it has like black pigments in it had a piece of hair or something caught up on my applicator here this is the one that i use with this <laughs> that's funny and um yeah i never tried on white saying here is next level carbon polymer protection you put it up there you let it haze and y'all see it's kind of hazing up a little and then you're just taking a buff it back off that's what I say you do. Alright. So um it's not easy, it's not hard to use, you know. It just, in my opinion, it's basically done about the same way as a, a regular spray wax. I mean not a spray wax, but like a traditional liquid wax or something like that. That you put on an applicator and you just spread it up down circular motions. It's basically done in the same manner. As spreading a liquor wax or paste wax, basically. And I always want to kind of try it for my subscriber because he said he wanted to see how it looked on a white paint job. So here we go. You know who you are if you're watching. Let it haze over. And being that this product thin. I was just shake it up really well before you apply it to your applicator. And like I was about to say, being it's very thin, like it, it uh, doesn't take long to dry up, dry up super fast. Alright. Retail prices, I think it's still like 20 bucks on Amazon if y'all ain't arrested, you know, in this product. Now, me personally, there's not many graphene products out here on the market. You know, it's more now it's just turtle wax just come out with a flex wax. And this, and uh, Adams has one. I hadn't tried the turtle wax or Adams yet. I had an Adams graphene detail spray. But uh, there's only a handful of uh, graphenes on the market now. You know, it ain't many of them out there. Not just a more user-friendly level. Now, let's kind of uh, mark through here a little bit. See how... Okay, as you can see here, I'm going to put an X through it. It's pretty much ready to come off okay so let's go ahead and bump that off see what we get the thing about it buns kind of hard to the surface as you can see it's kind of grabby like it's a good product though but it's kind of grabby and it stays a little a little tacky like But 
But it does a good job though. Oh yeah, it looks good. But it stays kind of tacky. Like, I'm gonna flip the rag over. And I wouldn't recommend your best microfiber cloths when you're using this product. I recommend get your rags that you uh, that's good, but not your best. You know, like that. I just call it the way I see it. Okay, and it does, as you guys can see here, it adds a lot of depth, shine, and gloss, even on white paints. So here. Performs very well. Look at that. And this is white. And this thing is glossy, man. As you can see here. You can imagine what it do on your dark color paints. I mean, this is white. Shining like that. I mean, you can tell a difference here. Look at here. And that white cutting up. <laughs> that looks darn good, man. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue getting this off the top part of this fender here. And we're going to back back and take a look at it from a distance. So it does a good job. I recommend putting it up there a little thicker. So you can, especially on light color, so you can really see where you at with this product. So you won't miss no spots getting it off when it haze. Spray it in your applicator a little thicker than normal. Especially if you're applying it to a white vehicle. As you can see, it looks very, very good there. All right, so let me come back. Boy, that thing glossy. That thing's glossy right there for to be a white paint. Especially a 2001 vehicle. This is an older white paint, but it looked pretty darn glossy. As you guys can see. It looks super good for the model. That's an old one. Still doesn't look bad. Still got heavy duty look to it. That's why I like my regular rim and tires on the trucks like this, guys. Make them look more heavy duty than me. More rugged, hardcore. More woods ready. You put rims and stuff on trucks like this, in my opinion, take away from them. Make them look more cheap, more soft looking. You know? I like that factory heavy duty look myself. And another little tip, when you get to changing rims and tires on trucks and stuff like this, start screwing with the transmission then. So, you know, that's not a good thing. And as you guys can see here, boy, it's got a nice gloss to it. And this is on a white paint job. I like this stuff. I'm beginning to really love to work with this stuff. Look at there. So there you have it, man. I did a video on it recently with y'all thoughts on it. But my, my, one of my subscribers asked me to try this on a white paint. So here you go. I put one coat on and there you go. If need be, I would say recommend you polish it first. A compound the vehicle first. Clay it. Whatever need to be done. Apply this last, man. I think this stuff will stick with you a while. Especially if you use detail spray in between washing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, shouts out to my subscriber. I did the video for you. Don't forget it, man. And I'll hit y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.